Now we're going to dress the body and it's easiest to put the pants on first. If you're dressing the person with a skirt or a dress, it's slightly different, but we're only going to de demonstrate using a pair of pants. So the first thing is to lift the legs up and then begin threading the pants on over the feet and the legs. You don't want to do too much at once, um, or it might be hard to get the other foot in. And then pull them up as far as you can at that point. So once you have the pants pulled up as far as you can and they're not up over the hips and the bum yet, then you use the rolling technique, one arm over and the same side leg over. And then grab from the shoulders and the hip and move the body onto its side. And then pull the, the pants up over the rear end. Lower the body again. And you may be able to just yank the pants up on the other side. And adjust as necessary. The easiest uh, way of putting on a shirt or a blouse is to take the, the shirt or blouse, fold it in half with the front inside, and then cut up the back from the bottom of the back up towards the, co the collar. You won't see this part of the shirt, so it doesn't matter that it's been cut. Then lay the shirt upside down over the body, the chest, and put the arms in and through the sleeves. Pull it up to the shoulders as much as you can and then gently lift the head and slip the neckline over top of the head. And then adjust the shirt so that it looks nice, tucking in the edges under the sides of the body. So when you're closing the eyes, gently close the eyelids with your fingertips. That should be quite easy. Place a hanky or a small cloth over the eyes. And then over top of that, a small bag of rice. This is like a sandwich or snack size um, baggie will do with a bit of rice or lentils or small beans. And this just provides enough weight over the next couple of hours for the, the lids to settle closed. And the hanky, that, that just keeps any wrinkles from happening from the rice or the beans or any marks in the skin. And then you're going to want to close the mouth. And the first part of trying to close the mouth is the towel that has been put under the neck already. And if that doesn't work, then you can try a rolled up towel under the chin, trying to sort of push the chin up a little bit more. But if that's not actually holding it and the mouth is sort of popping open again, then use a long thin scarf, probably fold it in two, Wrap it at the middle part around the head, around the head first, and then take one side around the chin, and it has to go over the chin, 
itself and try make sure that that first wrap doesn't have any creases or as few creases as possible because you don't want any creases in the skin once you take it off and then wrap the other part around and then tie at the top of the head And leave both of those for several hours so that the eyes and the mouth sort of set in the way that you shape them. Peace, release. A lifetime of feelings, peace, release. While my short torn heart is healing, Crossing my own thresholds as you journey beyond peace, release ever in the mother's arm, ever in the mother's arm.